<laughs> let me go solo queue real quick to try. I mean, it is, it is something you can use pretty much every game. I do it almost every game I play. I do this. All right, all right, all right. Let's uh, do it. Um, they need to be here by 155. So at 155, the three first melees die. No matter what on bot. If not, if no one hits anything bot, the first melees die at 155. We can double check this just to make sure I'm right. We can double check this on top just to make sure I'm right. I hope I make both things. Because it will be interesting to see when they die. And it will be interesting to see how it functions when I hit the ranged. But basically if nothing is touched bot, the first three melees will die at 155. But if you hit one of the ranged creeps, the ranged creeps will first aggro on you, and after they drop the aggro on you, they will all focus one of the melees. So then you will have one of your melees die much quicker than 155. So if I hit one of the ranged now, they should aggro on me. You see all of the things aggroed on me, and now they will change the aggro to one of the melees. So instead of dying at 155, this one dies at 150. So, in so instead of it being like this, where all of them dying at the same time at 155, you have one minion die at 150. So if enemy is leashing, they might lose one creep, creep, which they wouldn't otherwise. That is basically the trick. And you can do it on every lane. It works on mid, it works on top. It's the same for every lane. So when enemy is leashing, this is a strategy you can use to make enemy lose one creep, which they wouldn't otherwise. Because most people keep in mind that they will die at 155, so they make sure to be on the lane at 155. But in this case, you make it die at 150. Kamsamnida!